Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the last um, section of chapter 6. So, this is about volume. And in this section, uh, you will see some illustration of simple examples related to finding the volume of a solid using the method of slicing. So, let S be a solid that lies between x equals to A and x equals to B. So, these are the limits that you will use in finding the integral. So, here is uh, the upper limit and the lower limit. If the cross-sectional area of S in the plane Px, so Px here is the plane, um, the cross-sectional area uh, can be obtained according to this statement is um, through x and perpendicular to the x-axis. So you slice an area uh, through, you slice the solid, actually you slice the solid uh, through x and perpendicular to the x-axis. And once you do that, you will be able to get Ax. So A is the surface, uh, the area, you will be able to find what's the area of that surface. So A is continuous function. Then if you want to find the volume of S, so the volume of S can be found by finding the integral of Ax with respect to x and evaluate it at these limits A and B. Okay. So uh, in other words, for example, if uh, you have this uh, solid, so this is the solid that you are interested uh, to find the volume of it. So this is the solid. And um, imagine you you have a slicer. So this is a slicer. So you slice uh, the solid through x. So this is x-axis. So you slice the, the solid through x. And you can see that the slicer here is perpendicular to the x-axis. So once you uh, cut it through x, you'll be able to get a surface. So the surface is given by this or it will look like this. Okay, based on the given solid here. If you slice the solid, you will get a surface that looks like this. So this is what we call Ax. You need to be able to find what is the function or what is the, the formula for the area here. And you will use this uh, uh, and integrate it with respect to x. Okay, so if I can um, simplify the statement given in this purple box here, it will go like this. The first step is always to draw the picture. Uh, next, you have to determine how does the cross-sectional area looks like and what's the formula of the area and then use it uh, to integrate uh, with respect to x or y it depends on the uh, question given to you okay all right uh, to illustrate this idea we are going to consider a simple example here where you have to find the volume of the solid obtained by uh, rotating about the x-axis uh, the region under the curve so this is the curve from 0 to 1 okay so uh, we're going to start off with sketching the diagram, a simple picture of it. Okay, so um, so first we're going to sketch this um, curve. Okay, so uh, this is how it might look like. So this is x and this is y, and we know this. Uh, how does this function looks like? So it will look like this. So this is. Uh, y is equal to set x and um, it is asking you to evaluate it from uh, 0 to 1 so this is x equals to 0 this may be um, x equals to 1 okay so we have this uh, this uh, region here We have this region. All right. Um, so based on this, um, uh, you can see that um, 
the solid is constructed okay so the solid is obtained or the solid is constructed by rotating the x-axis this uh, region here so this is the region under the curve okay the region under the curve so this is the region under the curve and it says that in order to get the solid uh, you have to rotate this region rotate this region uh, with respect to x-axis so the x-axis is is the is the how do i say this is the pillar here so you're going to rotate it with respect to x-axis so how does the curve um how does the solid look like okay right so for example if you have a solid that looks like this okay uh, and and you are rotating it uh, with respect to x-axis so this is the so this is the the x-axis that you you have to consider as point of reference therefore uh, you can imagine that um, that um, the solid will look somehow like this when you rotate along this x-axis it could go like this so it is moving in this angle for example yep you can also move uh, you can also turn towards this side for example it's moving this side it continues to move i'm just giving um, the idea to you guys so you can also move on this side Okay, and you can also go this side. Okay, so um, does it look okay? Well, it, I hope you get the idea. It might not be perfect, but you know you can imagine this turning three hundred sixty degrees. Yeah, three hundred sixty degrees, and the solid that you will obtain. So this the final look of it is going to look like this. So it's going to look like this. So this is how the solid is going to look like. Oh dear God. Okay. Um. Okay. Something like this. Hmm. Yeah, I think that looks alright. Okay, so that's how the solid is going to look like. So let me just um, um scratch it over here. Just X, this is Y. So the solid is going to be looking like this. Hmm. Something like this. Okay. So this is the the solid that you're looking for and you want to find the volume of the solid. So according to the formula, you need to integrate uh, the area with respect to dx. And the limit is going to be from 0 to 1. And you can see that if you take a slicer and cut it through this, cut it through X. So if you take a slicer and you cut it through X, you will see that the surface is going to look like this. Okay. Uh, and um, the surface here um, is just a circle. And you know that um, in general, the area of a circle is given by pi g squared. So that's the 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 formula for area in general in area of a circle in general is pi j squared so what is j so if you for example if you cut it around this section you can see that j is going to be um j is going to be from this point until here so this is uh the the radius um and it's going to be uh the length the length of it is going to be equal to the length of y right you'll be able to 
to got this from the value of y and if you for example um, cut it on this slide on this part then you can see that um, the radius is going to be uh, shorter because now this is a smaller part so you can read the radius you can you can find the radius by uh, looking at the value of y and what is y y is given by this function so y is actually square root of x so uh, i can say that area of x is equal to um, pi j here is the radius and the radius here depends on 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 y and y here depends on uh, square root of x y is equal to square root of x so square root of x and you square it so that's the formula for area and we will be using it to integrate this formula with respect to x okay so um this one is going to be one zero pi uh, this can be simplified as x dx pi is a constant you can take it out put it aside um, x dx and that can be simply uh, integrated as x squared over 2 will be evaluated at point 1 and 0 and that becomes pi 1 over 2 okay all right i think that's all for now thank you very much for watching